Hi, I'm Erin Bradrick, Senior Counsel at NEO Law Group in San Francisco. In this video on tips for starting a nonprofit, we'll be talking about crafting a purpose statement for the organization. If you're thinking of starting a nonprofit, one of the first things you'll want to do is to come up with a carefully defined purpose or mission of the organization. You'll most likely be required to state the general purposes, such as charitable purposes of the organization in its organizing document or its articles of incorporation. In some circumstances, you might also be required to state a specific purpose, or you may choose to do so even if not required. However, if it's not explicitly required, we'd caution that you think twice before including a specific purpose statement in the organizing documents. Although a very broad specific purpose statement, such as to engage in charitable and educational activities within the meaning of Section 501c3, will likely give the nonprofit wide latitude in conducting its operations, a more narrow specific purpose statement may not. Specifically, a more narrow statement, such as a location in which the organization will operate or a narrowly defined group it will serve, may limit the nonprofit's use of any funds it receives to those narrow purposes under the Charitable Trust Doctrine. And it may also potentially subject the organization to taxes on any unrelated business income. The nonprofit may also be forced to amend its articles or other organizing document if its mission changes over time. On the other hand, including only a broad purpose statement may have other undesired consequences, such as permitting mission drift or creating confusion within the organization about its mission and its vision. If either of these are a concern for your nonprofit, but you don't want to include a specific purpose statement in your articles, another option may be to include a more specific statement in your bylaws, which may not need to be filed with the state if amended at a later time. The bottom line is that you should give careful thought when constructing your purpose statement in the organization, and if you plan to include a specific purpose in the organization's organizing documents, you may want to consider the consequences of doing so. We hope that this has been helpful and stay tuned for our next video on tips on starting a nonprofit.